Tonight, three Baraboo men are facing criminal charges, police say, for their reaction to students' homecoming pranks. Now, one of those arrested for their alleged involvement works for the Baraboo School District, but as district leaders told our Armand Rahman, they are waiting for more facts before taking action on their end. Arman? That's right. It was while flinging toilet paper around trees that police say four high schoolers were allegedly forced out of their car by three men, including James Langkamp, the activities director for the district. Authorities say the students safely left the situation before calling police. It's common for high schoolers to pull pranks in and out of school during homecoming, but according to Baraboo police on Tandem Trail last night... Apparently, the, one of the adult males that approached the vehicle had an issue with the homecoming festivity stuff during the week. Three adult men are accused of forcing four high schoolers out of their car while the students say they were TPing in the neighborhood. One adult allegedly had a device with flames coming out of it. Police have not recovered yet. The people in the car told our officers that they, they felt scared. And in what might have been a scary encounter, one of those three men arrested is a face familiar to many Baraboo students. That's um, Jolene Camp is our um, activities director. It's still unclear what role 53-year-old James Langkamp, students or parents played in the incident. Baraboo School Superintendent Rainey Briggs says no disciplinary action has been taken against Langkamp yet. Yeah, with the um, investigation still going on by the police department, um, we will wait to see the outcome of, of those things before any further steps are taken. Briggs is also waiting for the investigation before taking any action against homecoming pranks themselves. I don't know if this incident is tied to a homecoming prank, to be honest with you. I don't know all the details related to that. Um, this could have just been an incident that just happened in the community. But police say what is clear. That part was absolutely inappropriate to, to stop a vehicle and approach a vehicle like that, yes. If you don't agree with a prank or something a high school-aged youth might be doing... Sure, with your phone, record them, try to get a plate number if they're in a vehicle, but then call law enforcement. Don't approach and try to deal with the situation on your own. Now, the three men could face charges of reckless endangerment, disorderly conduct, and false imprisonment. And while they haven't been charged yet, News 3 Now decided to name Lane Camp because he is a public figure.